So, th uh, so far throughout the season, you're leading the team in rushing. Has that been an emphasis to go ahead and get active and, and turn something into nothing? Or, um, excuse me, nothing into something? <laughs> no, nah, it hasn't been an emphasis. Uh, I mean, they always, if it's, something's not there, we obviously don't want to take sacks. Um, and I, the coaches give me the freedom to you know, go out there and make plays um, when they know I need to. Um, if stuff's there, you know, take it. Uh, if the defense does a great job of, of matching our routes and covering uh, the concepts and go out there, and I can make something happen. Um, and it's, you know, sometimes it be uh, necessary, sometimes it doesn't. Um, in critical moments, you know, uh, coaches never, they're never going to say, oh, we don't want you to run. Um, you know, that's a, another part of my game, and they appreciate that. And how would you respond to the offensive line growing chemistry and, and cohesiveness throughout the season? Uh, they've been doing a great job. Um, you know, us as a unit, uh, they gelling. Uh, Coach Davis does a great job over there with the, with those guys, and and you know they they enjoy being around each other. That's the thing. Um, they go out there and they 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 want to be around each other. They hang out off out, outside of the football field. Um, so that's what you need in the offensive line. Uh, guys that want to be around each other, uh, and that camaraderie, and uh, it shows on the field. And after another week of reflection, what do you think you need to do to improve the passing game and just keep developing that aspect? Um, well, I feel like we need to do, uh, well, me personally, you know, just like, like uh, just be more aggressive, like Coach Kelly said. Uh, be more aggressive and let those guys, um, we brought them to LSU for a reason. Let those guys win their one-on-one -on -one matchups because, you know, uh, we have those talented guys, the receivers that can make plays. Um, if we want to achieve the goals that we want to achieve, um, that's what we're going to have to do, uh, win our one-on-one -on -one matchups, uh, go out there and take shots, and um, and beat, beat if we want, really want to beat teams, like that's what we're going to have to do is just go out there, trust what I see, and just be indecisive. Hey, Jen, right here. Um, I don't want to I don't want to jinx you or anything, but you've thrown no interceptions this season. How has that kind of built your confidence of going uh, going up against this tough Tennessee defense? I mean, it's just something that you know I I pride myself in, you know, uh, trying to limit the turnovers. Um, you know, don't don't give teams extra possessions. Um, and yeah, uh, I appreciate not trying to jinx me, but you know, just go out there and you know sometimes you know just trusting those guys, um, giving them the 50-50 the balls. I know they can make those plays, um, being decisive, you know, and just knowing where to go with the football. If you know where you go with the football, uh, pre-snap and uh, and you confirm it post-snap, then you'll be in good. You'll be in a, a good chance of go out there and just getting completions and start moving the ball. I know as a quarterback, sometimes you have to feel like danged if I do, danged if I don't. But, you know, coaches talked about pushing the ball downfield, taking chances. Mm -hmm. What have those conversations been like in terms of, you know, let's take some shots, let's take some chances? Uh, the conversation between, uh, you know, me and Coach Kelly, you know, he's saying, you know, go out there and just give those guys a chance. Um, and for me, it's just uh, being decisive. It's a mindset. Uh, you go out there, I know I can make every throw on the field. It's a matter of fact, just going out there and doing it. Um, that's what he's been harping. Uh, you know, being aggressive, just go out there and give those guys chances. You know, uh, make the one-on-one -on -one plays, uh, put the ball in an area where they could go, where they could catch it, and they it's it's a good chance that they're going to catch the ball. Uh, just talking to Malik, as good as your defense is, he kind of feels like, hey, we got to score more than 21 points with Tennessee coming in. Uh, for sure, uh, this is they're top top uh, ranked team in the country for a reason. Um, you know, as good as our defense is, I feel like they do, they've been doing a phenomenal job of keeping us in football games when we, when we had our struggles. Um, but, you know, Tennessee is ranked top 10 for a reason. Um, so we're going to have to score more than 21 points if we want to beat Tennessee. Uh, Coach said the Auburn game, there were five or six plays that maybe a little bit better throw, maybe a little bit better catch, we make those plays. Uh, were you guys a little sped up because of the crowd, or, or what do you think were the, the timing issues or things that went wrong? I just feel like it's, uh, it's throughout the week, just our preparation. Um, you know, we go out there and we run uh, concise routes, and I make the 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 ball a good ball placement. Uh, it translated over uh, to Saturday, um, and you know, I just you know, last week was last week of what we did. Uh, we're moving on to Tennessee and what we could correct from there. You know, like he says, maybe five or six plays. You know, if I put the ball um, a little bit more in front of them, they make the catch. Um, and, you know, that's on me. You know, I, I want to be the top quarterback in the country. You know, I got to make those type of throws. Uh, the ball placement is everything. Um, even if they have, the defense has good coverage, uh, just giving those guys a chance, you know, to go out there and make the catch. Now you're kind of fully in this SEC season. Um, you just had a ruckus environment over at Auburn. You know, 
how does it feel and are you feel like you're ready for it? Well, I've, I've been ready for it. That's why I came here. Uh, so when I put my name in the transfer portal, that's something I've been, I was looking for. And I, I said, I thank God, you know, for putting me in this position uh, to go out there, you know, uh, play Auburn in a hostile environment. And then the next week, have a, a, a ranked opponent come in here to Death Valley, you know, uh, and have the chance to go out there and just showcase my talents and uh, go out there with my brothers and have fun. I suffered, you know, a little bit of an injury, discomfort, I'll mm -hmm. say. Um, are you going to maybe play a little more conservative moving forward to make sure that you're able to play the full game with your team? I can't, I can't think about that on Saturday. I'm going to go out there and just uh, it's always be me. Um, I can't have that in the back of my mind of, oh, I'm going to play more conservative uh, and, and try to change my game. Uh, I'm going to just keep playing how I play, um, have that mindset, go out there and just be more aggressive with the guys and go out there and have fun. Um, I can't just keep thinking in the back of my mind, I'm going to be more uh, conservative because if, I, if I'm thinking that, then uh, uh, knock on wood, you know, something more serious might happen. All right, playing Tennessee, former Tennessee quarterback Peyton Manning, you got to spend some time with him this summer. What did he teach you, and, and what, what did you take away from that? Uh, yeah, his camp, you know, I was with him and, and the other top quarterbacks in the country. Uh, he's really just teaching us um, just the, the fundamentals and uh, giving us knowledge of, throughout his career. Um, and it was, a, it was a great experience for me to go out there uh, and spend time uh, with him uh, and just pick his brain and his knowledge, you know, because that's, that's football royalty, especially with the quarterback position. Um, you know, they did a lot of great things and just his preparation throughout the week, that was the biggest thing of how, how serious he took football, no matter how great he knew he was. Uh, he's sitting in the front, you know, he's taking notes of everything else. Uh, even if he knew it, he's going he's gonna to write it down because at the end of the day, you got, if you keep writing down, um, you're going to learn it even more. Uh, you can never get bored with doing, uh, doing the little things. Um, just two quick questions. The, I think Mason Taylor, you targeted him like 12 times the other night. Was that the plan or was that just who was, was open? That's just what it is. He was open. Uh, that's what the defense gave me. Um, we could have connected on some. Uh, I wish I had some of those back, but uh, Mason does a great job in getting open, um, and they, the coaches do a great job of putting him in position to, to be open. Um, if he pops over, I'm going to give him the ball, he's going to go out there and make plays. It just seems like so many times you guys are that close to connecting, like it's just yeah. been a little bit off. Uh, you feel like that that's going to come, and, and what kind of talent is he at tight end? Uh, yeah, that's for sure going to come. Um, you know, he's a, he's a great talent. He, he's football savvy. He knows um, he's still learning, you know, obviously being a, a true freshman playing the SEC, uh, there's still little things you got to learn about college football. Um, but uh, he's going to have a, a great career here uh, when it's all said and done. Thank you.